Welcome to another Rebs Six Pack Reviews. It's uh, it's been a bit. I mean, not really. It's been like uh, uh, days, maybe weeks, whatever. It doesn't matter. Today, Shablammy. Here it is. Witness uh, the CRK. I think it's called the Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. It's one of the very first knives I ever got. Um, I it, fuck it so fucking long ago. Uh, the thumb studs falling out, so I put a fucking screw in. Um, it, just the epic. Um, the most. Glorious uh, of uh, uh, shitty small knives ever made. No, this isn't it. I'm not going to do this here, KT. Uh, kiss. Although, you know, I mean, it, it, fuck, for however much I paid for it, uh, probably not much. Um, uh, it opened MREs uh, like a fucking champ while it was bent. Anyways, not this one. Today, we have... The motherfucking Formax. So, and this is not, so, it is a Formax. Uh, and that is a, um, a hummingbird as a, uh, lanyard bead. But the official name, once you put the two together, um, then you get the official, uh, it's fucking Master Blaster, man. It is fucking Master Blaster. It is, uh, it's the best combination you would ever want. So, right off the bat. So, uh, Formax, Cold Steel. Uh, I think there was something back in the day about, um, uh, the ones made in Italy versus the one made, uh, the ones made in the U.S. Um, I didn't seek out, uh, an Italian made one. I just bought one and I got it. And then everyone was like, oh, sweet. Yeah, that's a good one. And eh, fuck, I don't know. I have no idea why it was fucking good or bad. But the Formax uh, is is what I believe to be... Um, it's a fuck you knife, right? It's a fucking... It's, and I, I think everybody should have one. A fuck you knife is a knife that's, it's ridiculous, right? Like, it's super fucking huge. Uh, you're not going to fucking use it. Let's see, I got a, uh, uh, I have uh, a custom knife factory uh, Kadot, which is just as fucking giant uh, as this motherfucker. Probably not going to use this as like an everyday carry. Not that you could, this clip will fucking destroy your world. It'll rip your pants off before you get it in there. But, um, but yeah, so it's a big, I mean, it's a big fucking knife. But that's, that's, that's kind of part of it, right? That's the fuck you part. It's like, uh, if, I mean, if you re fuck, dude, you know, if you really, really had to leave their house, uh, in some kind of hurry and, uh, and carry only one knife around, everybody wants like the end of world shit, but you're not gonna fucking, uh, you're not going to grab your fucking hummingbird, right? You're not going to, I mean, is is fucking rad as it is. Look at that Damascus. You don't have that shit. You don't fuck. But you're going to grab something, and this is a fucking giant uh, backlock, super fucking stout uh, chunk of 20 CV. And, uh, and there's, and there's, no real in getting past that. It's a fucking... It's a fuck you knife. Um, clip actually works really well. Uh, the back lock works really well. Uh, I don't... Like, for action, I don't know how people would fucking... But you can thumb flip it and then the act... You know, it just breaks. Um, so I don't know how you would quantify like, Oh yeah, it's a great fucking... I don't know about EDC. I mean... Fuck, I don't know. Why not? I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't need to see this or anything else, but um, but when I got it, I had uh, a suggestion from a um, 
a uh, Knife Club Discord uh, shout out to Will. He was like, man, you need to fucking... Um, that needs a knife lanyard bead. And then he made uh, the suggestion of the hummingbird. And then as soon as I saw that, oh, excuse me. And then as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, fuck. Yep. So I, uh, um, I reached out to, uh, Eric at Indiana Knives, who is, uh, supplying me with, uh, enough fucking, uh, coolies to keep my beer cold, uh, till the end of days, but, and then it just made perfect sense. There was fucking, uh, it's such a large, ridiculous fucking knife, but not, I mean, not like ridiculous, ridiculous. I mean, yeah, it's fucking big, but, uh, I don't know if I have anything else that says, well, yeah, okay, I got fucking, uh, I have a custom knife factory, yeah, so the Satori is fucking just as big as that motherfucker, um, so there are definitely knives that are fucking, uh, as big or fucking bigger that are folders. Obviously, Cold Steel makes fucking, like, uh, borderline fucking, uh, pocket swords. I wouldn't fucking, I wouldn't count this as a pocket sword. If I had to fucking, if I was traveling around the fucking, you know, the country or whatever, and, and I thought that maybe I, you know, could get away with carrying one knife... You know, and if the cops stop me or fucking, you know, I don't know, whatever. I would want something like this. I would want a fucking Cold Steel Formax. This back lock is never going to fail. Um, it's never going to fucking uh, fuck up on you. Um, you know, the spring is 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 stout as can fucking be. Uh, yeah, you're not going <laughs> to... It'd be really hard to fuck this up. Having said that, yeah, I fucked it up. I think I stabbed... I mean, this is six-pack review, so uh, my likely story is, yeah, I probably fucking stabbed something um, and then chipped off some of the G10, but that still, it affects nothing um, with the functionality of the knife, and and 20 CV is fucking a glorious goddamn fucking steal. So, uh, to keep this semi-fucking short and sweet, uh, yeah, cold steel. Formax, um, for whatever reason, uh, the kids say get, uh, the Italian, uh, version over the fucking USA, don't know why, um, it, I, I can't even fucking imagine that it's actually a fucking reason that would, uh, uh, persuade anybody to do it, um, but the only, uh, the only other recommendation that I have is that if you're going to fucking carry, a Formax, then your lanyard bead has to be uh, some other knife because this will make uh, most of the knives in your collection uh, a bitch. And uh, being a lanyard bead to a larger knife uh, is as much of being as bitch. A bitch? The bitch? Yeah. A bitch in general that I can imagine. So, thank you. Uh, for everybody who uh, tuned in, and uh, I will see you on the next video. Cheers!